Hey everyone, this is Teo. In today's video, I want to give you some recommendations for inks that you can use to refill your brush pans. Why you may want to use your own inks is, well, it will save you money in the long run rather than buying those disposable cartridges which can be quite costly. And secondly, you have the option to choose whatever inks you want to use. You can use black inks or colored inks. You can use waterproof inks or water-soluble inks. So the inks that I have today, the ones that I'm going to recommend to you are waterproof pigmented inks that are sort of safe to use in brush pens. There are three criteria that I use when it comes to choosing ink for use in brush pen. The first one is the ink must be waterproof because I like to use black ink with watercolor. I need the ink to be waterproof. Second criteria is when I am covering a large area with the black ink, the wash or the black area, it mustn't appear patchy. And the third criteria is it shouldn't clog your brush pen. I would not use India or Indian ink in brush pens because these inks, they are heavily pigmented and some of the pigment particles, they may clog up the brush pen. So any ink bottles with the words India or Indian, I would avoid them. Another way to choose inks that are relatively safe to use in brush pens or even fountain pens is to look out for those dried ink particles, you know, those crusty ink particles that are below the cap around the rim area. This ink is platinum carbon ink. So if you see those hardened ink particles, you should be cautious about using those inks in fountain pens or in brush pens. Platinum carbon ink is said to be safe for use in fountain pens and this is still quite alright. Those uh, particles from India inks, they are much larger and they are really solid. Now is the time for me to mention the disclaimer. For all the inks that I'm about to recommend, they are all pigmented ink, so there's still a chance for them to clog your brush pens. If you use your brush pen regularly, it shouldn't be a problem. But if you leave your brush pen unused for long periods of time, if the ink dries up on the bristles, it's going to make the bristles harder and it's probably going to clog your brush pens. I would recommend you get a more affordable brush pen to try out first, just in case anything goes wrong. You can throw away the brush pen and get a new one. All right. The first ink that I want to recommend, the number one ink that I want to recommend is the Sailor Kiwaguro. This is waterproof black ink that's made in Japan. It's made by the same company that makes the Sailor fountain pens. I like the design of the bottle. It has a large opening. And this ink is safe for use in fountain pens. I have already filled up this brush pen with the ink, so let's test it out. This ink flows quite well and it dries relatively fast. So this is the Sailor Kiwaguro. What I like about this ink is it's relatively black, it's not that patchy, and it dries pretty fast. The second ink I recommend is the Atramantis Archive ink. This is made for fountain pen use. This is the Kuretake brush pen. I have removed the top to show more of the bristles. This is not as black compared to the Sailor and it doesn't dry as fast, but it's still a pretty good ink. My third recommendation is the Platinum Carbon ink, which I have used to refill this Pentel color brush pen. This looks very similar to Sailor Kiwaguro and dries relatively fast. So these are the three inks that I would recommend for use in brush pens. My first choice is Sailor Kiwaguro. My second choice is actually split between these two. If you don't mind a little bit of risk, maybe you can get Platinum Carbon because the performance is very similar to Sailor Kiwaguro. The Atramantis, the ink, it's not as dark, it's not as black compared to this two. And also it's a bit more patchy, it's slightly more patchy, but still very usable. I also have Noodleless Bulletproof Black ink as well. This is safe for use in brush pens because this is water-based ink. 
So this is Noodleless. As you can see, Noodleless ink is quite patchy. So that is why I do not like to use this brush. I mean, as you can see, Noodleless ink is quite patchy. That's why I don't want to use this ink in brush pens. What ink to use in brush pens is a question that I get quite often. Hopefully this video answers that. Now these are just my suggestions, my recommendations. If you use other inks to refill your brush pens, I would love to hear from you. Let me know in the comment section whether or not uh, those inks that you are using, how well have they been working out for you. I would really love to find out. Alright, thanks for watching today's video. See you in the next one. Bye! You can find out where to buy these inks through the links in the video description below.